Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to just do something super fun that I haven't done before. I went to the bins today. So what the bins are is it's Goodwill Outlet. So it's items priced by the pound, so super cheap items, and they roll out all these bins of things and you just dig through them to find items and you pay by the pound. So it makes it extremely cheap. I spent $20.86 today and I got 21 or 22 items. So I mean that's like a dollar an item. So that's that is amazing. So right now the bins have different rolls than they've had before and I haven't gone um, before now so I, I just didn't know the rules before but you have to wear your mask of course and I also chose to wear gloves to dig through stuff um, I took them off part of the way through um, I was definitely getting really hot digging through everything plus having the mask on but you know I felt safe I had a hand sanitizer with me and I definitely don't advocate for you to do anything you don't feel safe doing so I want to get into this haul. Now this haul is vintage items I found at the bins and it's also going to focus more on plus size. I really looked for larger sizes, okay? Please note, these items have not been washed yet. So if seeing items that aren't washed in a haul freaks you out, not the video for you. So you can just, you know, not watch. Um, but anyways, I'm super excited to just show you what I found and yeah, let's, let's get into it. So one of the first things I bought was a crinoline. Um, you may find that a, a weird thing to buy, but this one appears to be vintage and it just had so many layers compared to a lot of the modern ones I've seen. Um, I'm probably gonna end up selling this, but I just thought it was such a great buy. Uh, this is actually a size medium, so it's not plus size, but it just, it feels really good and it feels really full. And I thought it was a good item to pick up. And now that we're talking about it, now that you notice that I bought a medium size, I am probably gonna open a curated vintage shop online. TBD, I don't have any details yet, but the idea is to sell some vintage finds back to you um, at an affordable price. And I really do wanna focus on larger sizes, plus sizes for vintage, because I know how hard those can be to find. So first item, amazing, amazing first item. The next item is this adorable shirt, very 80s, so many fun colors. And um, I believe that this was a 1X. I'm not entirely sure, but you know, it's a little larger, which I love. Um, it has a little bit of staining on it, but I'm pretty sure I can get that out. So I, I think this is adorable. This is really great. The next item I got is actually a set and this set is one X and this is a fantastic eighties throwback. So on trend right now with tie dye, here's the shorts. I mean, look at that. Is that not on trend? and the top isn't this great so i just love this i think you could really wear this super cute like all tied up um and i love that it's a larger size and oh i just i love this set i think it is so great so the next item i found was this vintage montgomery ward coat it even has the belt and it's in fairly good condition um, I did notice that one of the buttons is missing on front, but on the inside lining, it has the buttons. It has extras, so I can just add that. So I thought this was fantastic. I love this coat. Oh, it's got that, that wonderful quilt, which is so in, that quilting. This would be great for somebody for this winter, and I love that it's Montgomery Ward. Also, can we just look at how cute the belt buckle is? This is great. This is great. So the next item I picked up for myself, it's an imitation coach purse, but for a dollar, I thought they did a really good job. Um, I can tell it isn't coach because the stitching isn't lined up perfectly. Um, it also just says coach on the zippers. It doesn't have 
the correct markings on the zippers but this one they did a really good job the stitching looks great um, this little label thing looks great the serial number looks great so I thought for a dollar this is a great imitation couch bag I was pretty excited about it so the next items I picked up are another set so it's this wonderful silky pajamas um, let's see does it say what it just it just says polyester but oh my god these feel so good so it has these great pants and these are in 3x and then it has this adorable long top and this is in 2x this is such a great vintage pajama set and um, it it's from the brand honors I don't know if you can see the tag or not um, but yeah I just I thought this was such a great find and I actually found the pants and the top in a different bin they weren't together so I was really excited to find them this is actually the first vintage item I found while I was in the bins this is a size 1x and it's by Sears and it's an adorable halter dress how great is that I mean just look at that pattern right so I, I just thought that was adorable I love that it's 1x I love that it has such a great pattern yeah I this was a great first find um, I was really excited when I found this I was like oh I might find some good vintage today all right <laughs> so the next item is an extra large wool sweater by Alfred Dunner and I just adore this wool sweater it's got these cute like embroidered flowers happening it's got a couple condition issues but I'll just note that when I sell it but oh this is such a great color and it's just mmm I just love this so next I picked up a pair of shoes for myself um, I thought these were just adorable they just have such great like vintage vibes and look at the hardware on them they really don't look like they've ever been even walked on more than a couple times um, but yeah these are my size and the heel is just low enough that I can get away with it I can't wear heels um, I have a bad ankle but I can wear these so the next item my girlfriend who I went with to the bins actually found for me um, this is Elaine Bryant new with tag size 26 and it is this adorable faux leather zip up with a peplum on the bottom I love this so this is definitely for me this is this is not going anywhere um, I have something very similar to this without the peplum and it's, it's so cool to find something new with tags right so full disclosure I didn't pay for this my friend paid for this for me so it was a bonus so the next item is another wild set and when I say wild I mean wild look at the print on these oh my god how 80s fantastic is this so it's a top and a bottom this vintage set would be so cute tied oh god I love this you know tigers and lions and zebras and elephants oh my oh I just love this set and I believe this set is a size 18 yeah this is a size 18 so another great larger size so I could see the color of this one from a long way away and I knew that it was vintage. Look at this beautiful skirt. Oh my God, look at the great 80s colors on that. Oh, I just love it. So this one is a size 10, right? No, 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 this one is a size 20. So it, stretchy waist of course, but, but look at that, look at those great colors. Oh my God, someone is going to love this someone is gonna love this this is gonna be amazing on someone if I don't keep it I might keep it it's so cute <laughs> okay so this next item has condition of shoes I am keeping this item most likely but I I love it so much look at this amazing 70s track jacket I mean this is what 70s dreams are made of um, I would say this is light 70s early 80s um this is a men's extra large tall and i'm gonna wash it i'm pretty sure i can get the stain out of it it has a few holes i'm gonna mend them myself uh, i don't think this one's going anywhere i think i'm keeping this because this is 
amazing. So this item, I couldn't find any sizes on it, but it was just in such perfect condition. I had to pick it up. It feels so soft. I can't even tell you. It just feels like butter. And it's this beautiful vintage nightgown that just like, oh, it just makes you want to cuddle up and stay home. I, I just love the collar detail. I mean, how adorable is that? Um, and it's by some brand called Carriage Court. I mean, who knows what that is? But like, this was amazing. I couldn't leave it behind. And I do think it's a larger size. So this next item actually isn't clothing. I found this beautiful little vintage kerchief. Isn't that pretty? I thought that was so pretty. I, anyways, it's, it's not clothing, but I still, I, I just love the detail. So one of my favorite vintage things to find are house coats because they're so versatile. Despite the fact that they're house coats, you can wear them as shirts. I've seen people crop them. I wear them as dresses. I always think they're just one of the greatest things to find uh, for plus sizes in vintage. I'm not sure the size on this one. Um, this one does have a union tag, which is awesome, but it is larger. Um, I'm betting it would just fit me, if not be a little small. So I'm thinking this is a 1X, 2X, but I mean, how cute is this? Look at those little ties. Look at the button covers, the buttons, how those, they have that little purling, you know? And the colors are just great. I'm not sure if it's getting washed out, but the colors of that pink and blue is awesome. Next, I got a super classic 80s shirt. Look at this guy, isn't that great? Oh my God. I just, I love the candy striper. I, I just, I love all of it. I'm not sure the size on this, but I think it's probably a large, extra large, but is this not the cutest? This is the cutest. Oh, I love this one. And so the next item I found was this adorable nightgown. Now, I don't think this is that old. This is a Croft and Barrow, Barrow. Anyways, I don't think it's that old, but it's got the vintage feeling and it really, with that pattern, that purple, you know, it just, it really does feel vintage. And this one is a size 3X. So I think someone is absolutely gonna love this. And just look at the detail on that collar. Like how cute is that? It is adorable. This is so great. So I'm really glad I found this. Oh my gosh, you guys. So we are at the last item. So last, but certainly not least, is this amazing 80s dress. It is so beautiful. It is blue. It's probably a midi length. It has its original belt, which is something you just, you never find the belts that go with this. And I mean, just, just look at that great tag, right? Isn't that great? So my friend actually found this and grabbed it for me. And I was like, she was like, something like this, would you like it? And I was like, yes, please, yes, please, this. Uh, so this is a size 14. So it's 14 and 80s, so it's probably pretty close to 14. And yeah, I just, I think someone's gonna love this. I think somebody's gonna absolutely rock this. So yeah, like, what did you guys think? What did you think of the haul? That's all the items. Um, I, I feel like that went really fast, but it, it didn't. I can see the time on the video. It didn't go that fast. Um, like I said, I will probably be doing a reselling, opening up a store sometime soon. Uh, it's in the works, guys. So that's all I can say. I will definitely put more details when I know. And when I know the details, say you're watching this video later, I will link below if there's info for you. And yeah, I just, I encourage you to give the bins a try. I was a little intimidated. I felt like I didn't belong. But it was fun and I had a great time and it felt almost like a normal day trying something new. Uh, it, it felt like kind of an adventure doing something I haven't done before. And right now, you know, we don't, we, we're just stuck inside and just having that piece of normal is really important for our mental health. And trying something new is something I love. I love trying new things. So this was, this was great. So 
I encourage you, if you feel safe, to go check out the bins near you, if possible, if open. I know the whole country is doing all different things right now, so uh, yay 2020. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. So if you want more fun creative videos like this and all different kinds, uh, I'm an artist, so I give creative tips too, uh, give me a subscribe. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Also, tell me what you think about having a vintage shop that focuses more on larger sizes. I would just, I'd just love to hear what you think about that and leave any feedback on any of the items, okay? Okay guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, oh wait, someone wants to make a cameo. <laughs> Okay, guys. Oh, she just shook the camera. <laughs> oh. oh, now she's scratching her ear and shaking the camera. Great. You be so silly. Yes, you be so silly. Oh, let's show everybody what you're doing. Look at this silly kitty. Look at her. What you doing? You gonna lay on all the clothes? Is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna lay on all the clothes?